Bonjour les enfants. Hello children. Aujourd'hui, Froggy et moi, on va vous lire une histoire en anglais. Mais avant de lire l'histoire, je vais vous montrer des images et vous dire des mots que vous devez répéter. D'accord Alors, chaque fois que je dis un mot, vous, hmm, vous allez répéter. Let's go Repeat, Froggy. Apple. Apple. Pear. Pear. Plum. Plum. Strawberry. Strawberry. Orange. Orange. Good job, Froggy. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Karl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. I am hungry. Monday, he ate through one apple. Mm, apple but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. Pear. One, two. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Yum. One plum. Two plums, three plums. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One strawberry, oh, delicious. Two strawberries, three strawberries, four strawberries. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. One orange, two oranges, three oranges, four oranges, yum yum, five oranges. Mm. But he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. One ice cream cone. Mm, ice cream. One pickle. Pickle. One slice of Swiss cheese. <laughs> Yum, cheese. One slice of salami. Salami. One lollipop. <laughs> lollipop. One piece of cherry pie. Cherry pie. One sausage. Sausage. One cupcake. Mm, cupcake. And one slice of watermelon. 
watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and... He was a beautiful butterfly. Please repeat, Froggy. One apple. One apple. One pear. One pear. Two pears. Two pears. <laughs> One plum. <laughs> One plum. <laughs> Two plums, three plums, one strawberry, one strawberry, four strawberries, four strawberries, one orange, one orange, five oranges. Five oranges. Good job, Froggy. <laughs> Let's count. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four, four, five, five. Well done, Froggy. Hello, everybody. A silophysion and papillon. Butterfly. Butterfly. Repeat, please. Butterfly. Let's craft. For our butterfly craft, we need plain paper, a pencil, scissors, glue, colored crayons, and tissue paper or paper from a magazine. We need small pieces. And of course, we need our template. Trace the lines of your butterfly. Wing, one wing, two wings. The head, head, and the body, body. Let's cut the butterfly out. We use our scissors and we cut. Let's 
Let's repeat all words. Wing, one wing, two wings. Head, body, head, body. Butterfly. Take your glue stick and put glue on one wing, not everywhere, only on one wing. Now glue the paper pieces everywhere on your wing. Yellow, green, Red, and why not some pieces of the magazine? Blue, brown, blue again. blue. So let's repeat. Green, yellow, red, blue. And some brown. We have some brown paper here too. Let's take our colored crayons and color the body part of the butterfly. Let's take a green crayon and color the body. The body. Red for the head. And with the pencil, we draw the eyes and the mouth. One eye, two eyes. Mouth. A smiling mouth. And this is our butterfly. See you soon, children!